Hello. Okay, I wanted to get on here and share some things that I went through how to spot the red flags in people because Satan does send people into our lives just as God does. Most often times people are also put in our way to plant seeds or to grow and learn from. So it's not all that bad and it also teaches us how to love and forgive others that do us wrong. But some of the red flags that I noticed in my relationships which I wasn't taking heed to and paying attention and there's a lot but some of them are manipulation. Manipulation is a red flag. Gaslighting. Um, everything's always your fault. Never theirs. They never take responsibility. They're always talking bad about other people and seeking revenge. Uh, lying. Lying's a big one. Because children are God. When you read in the Bible, we're supposed to walk in truth and always be truthful and honest. Um, and then they also, you'll notice that when you're with the wrong people, your prayer life will change. You'll stop wanting to read your Bible. You'll stop wanting to pray. Um, you just won't be seeking God as much anymore. Uh, you might backslide back into, let's just say, heavy drinking, parting it up. Whatever it is that God delivered you from, sometimes you fall right back into. So those are some important things to look out for. Um, then also you're going to be unevenly yoked. You obviously won't be seeking Jesus together. It's just going to become a sinful relationship. And this goes with the opposite sex as well. Uh, you'll always feel drained, just depleted of energy. <clears throat> so if you spot those signs and the person is unrepentant or they don't have a relationship with God, they're not born again, then let those people go. It's not worth it. It destroys your peace, your joy, takes away your self-esteem, happiness, especially those who are always putting you down. Get rid of all toxic relationships. It's better just to be alone by yourself than with those kind of people. We are to show them the love of God, forgive them, pray for them, but keep them at a nice, safe, healthy distance. So I hope this helps someone. Uh, this is just a list of some of the things. Like I said, there's a lot more, but there's some things you can look for online and just go to the Bible and it'll show you different things. But I'm going to make another video of how to know if a relationship is from God. Bye.